Hi, my name is Andrea, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to cut perfect dovetails on the very first try. Check it out. So Jonathan Katzmoses, the creator of this dovetail jig, sent me one jig for me to try it out. Uh, he didn't send me only one, he sent me two of those. And I'm having one as a giveaway for you. If I do reviews for some woodworking equipment, I like to use it for some time before I actually uh, tell something about it to you. As you may have seen, I have used the other one before and that was the David Baron one. So I have the David Baron one for probably a year now. I really like this jig. Uh, when I first got it. However, I found some problems with it and uh, the problem is that uh, there is only one magnet. Compared to the Katzmose jig, there are actually two magnets on each side. So this is uh, because when you try to put the saw on it, like so, it's very easy to uh, actually go sideways and it's a little bit harder to keep the line but it does work. With the Katmosis jig, there are two magnets, so it's harder to actually pull it away from the jig and you can keep the line easier. I think that's a better, better design feature on this one. Uh, the other thing I like about this one is that this one has uh, the pins uh, part of the of the joints has on both sides, so you can saw on one direction, in one angle, and then you can saw on the other one too as well from the same side whereas with the Baron one you had to flip the jig over and then you would have to uh, put it on one side of the board and then flip it around and put it on the other one to cut. Not really a problem but uh, this one is a little bit nicer. Um, now what I didn't like about this jig from Cuts Moses is just a minor thing and you can fix it like I did is that this material, this plastic is very slick it slides easily on the material and sometimes it's a little bit hard to keep it like straight on the job but I don't think it's a lot of problem I just got used to David Bear one where he actually put some sandpaper on the bottom so it doesn't slide I really like that so I put it on this jig and now it works perfectly I really like it okay let's do some tests and try it out The most common and probably cheapest wood is pine and it's a good wood to practice in. I already made a video where I explained the process in more detail and I'll leave a link in the description. This dovetail joint took me about 20 minutes to make, with filming included. I set up the marking gauge and marked the pieces. Then I laid out the dovetails. Now I use the side on the jig that says tails. Just align the jig right up to the line on the waist side and cut making sure that the saw plate and jig are in contact.
Then remove the waste using a fret or a copping saw and clean to the line with the chisel. This jig also has the 90 degree cut, so there are actually two jigs in one. I checked it for a square, and it's a dead square in both directions. You can also use it to guide your chisels to cut the dovetail square when removing the final waste. Align the tails board and mark with a knife the lines for the pins. Turn the jig to the pin side and start cutting again, cutting on the waist side and maintaining contact with the jig. It is much easier than it sounds. Clean out the pins, and if you did everything right, it will fit on the very first try. I planed the bird a little to make the dovetails flush. I didn't even glue this joint. So there it is, just a little coat of linseed oil and it came out pretty good, I have to admit. I uh, didn't put uh, almost any effort to it just to try to replicate someone who is beginner with the dovetails and it went really easy. I do have some minor gaps, I have to admit, but these are quite good in my opinion. I remember my first dovetails and they weren't Anywhere close to this, so I will give you a close-up look so you can see some errors, so to say. But these are close to perfect. So you can see a saw past here a little bit. You have to be careful not to go over your baseline because that will be visible in the end product. Here a little bit with the shoulder. When I was cutting the shoulder, I didn't go through. You can see my pieces overlap a little bit but this was because when I was aligning I was away from the edge this is easily repaired with a with a plane and that's what I did on the other side you can see this is coplanar on the bottom side were the pins I did have some problems because the uh, board was a little bit cupped so I have some gaps on the outsides here but that's just minor gaps which won't influence the strength of the joint so this will be as strong as it gets and you can see it looks really nice and clean beautiful joint so if you want to win this jig please leave me a comment down in the description and make sure you are subscribed to my channel also I will send the jig anywhere in the world so you're all welcome to participate good luck I will announce the winners on my Patreon page, so you can check it out there. And if you like what I do, please consider supporting me on Patreon. This really helps, and it's like, if you see me on the street, would you buy me a beer, maybe? If the answer is yes, then you can donate that $1 to the Patreon. You will get 
uh, all of my videos that come early and some exclusive content I also post there. The announcement for the winner of this dovetail jig will be public there so you can see it and then you can write me there so I can get your address and send it to you. Good luck! Mwah.